It's a wide but shallow river, and people living on its banks had good reason to worry. All last week, the tides were getting higher and higher. Anxious eyes scanned the water level each day. Last Tuesday week, the water was already lapping around the goat walk. What's that boat across there? Oh, that's your old ferry boat there. Right? And it sank, did it? Well, yes, it got wore out with all the passengers going in there over the years. Uh... Stan Pym, Topsman's ferryman, rode me out to the middle. We were the town's early warning system, measuring the height of the tide. So how long have you been doing the ferry? Oh, 11 years. 11. 11 years. You get strong arms from me. Beautiful. Every, every Beautiful day of the year. year? Beautiful year. If this tide was higher than predicted, it could mean disaster the next day. I get the pole ready. Right. I should put out all the star on it. Let's see how far down. Get it. Down to the two meter mark. It's quite a strong pull. That. There it is. I hit the bottom. That's it there. That's four point by four two. Four two. See what's on the tide table. It says about four point two to four point three here on the tide table. Yeah. Oh, well done. So what about tomorrow, then? The tide was about right, but it only needed a strong wind blowing up from the channel to push the water level up another half metre, so no one was taking any chances. The news at five. Devon's emergency services are all set to fight what could be the worst flooding for years. Exeter City Council is handing out sandbags to homeowners in Topsham, where tomorrow evening, when the peak tides are expected, workmen will be standing by to watch possible flood areas, blocking roads with sandbags where necessary. I met the emergency work team on Topsham Strand, one of the oldest parts of the town and closest to the river. Okay. We've got this one door here that needs doing. John Furser's team is building the barricades to defend Topsham. Is there any technique to how you put them down? Yes, there's a certain way of doing it. Got to tight. I was in tight and nothing gonna barrier off against it. How many do you think you've given out already to Topsham? Oh, about a thousand. A thousand? Yes, about a thousand. You gotta collect them all back in again at the end? Yes. Come on, I'm waiting for a bit of burrow into it. A lot more to be done yet. I think you want some spinach in you. I can't believe you've had to do thousands of them. There you are. It's only just doing three or four at a time. Yeah. And you've got thousands to do. At certain high ties, you will not see the road, you see the rolling up for the boats. Well, how are we doing then? That'll be the last one, Mike. Yes, that is. That's Will that be secure? secure? Yeah. Well, it looks strong, doesn't it? Yes, should be no problems. As well, Have uh, you got much more to do? Yes, we've got another two or three over the other side of the road to do. All those ones down there? All the on the side of the house have got to be done as well. The river can swamp the town through many avenues, just as it flooded Topsom Quay in 1958. Harbour master Dan Trout remembers it well. The little boat was being washed up and washed along. And that shed down there, I had boats mm. in that shed behind me. There was two foot of water in there. They floated in there. They floating yeah, inside? Inside the shed, yeah, they floated <laughs> in there. And what about the boats out here? Well, they were all moving. The little ones were moving, and we were worried about the bigger ones coming off their blocks. Yeah. Because the swell was so great that um, it was knocking them along the quay. How did you stop them? Well, you couldn't. You couldn't do much with it. We stood by, there was one in the, in the river there, mm. And we stood by that one, holding an off to stop them from floating in on top of the quay. So you had to hold them down? Oh, yeah, we were keeping an off. There were three of us keeping an off. We stood there for about four hours. Until the tide went until down until again? Until the tide dropped, yeah. You must have been cold. It was cold, cold and yeah. wet. <laughs> Do you think it's going to flood tomorrow? Well, it all depends on the wind. I'm you never hoping know. not, but uh, you, you can't forecast. And you can't take any chances either. I mean, you? if the wind is south or southeast, well, then it would. You'd have water in the road. It could be anything up to 18 inches on the, on the ferry road. Another check on flooding is to measure how much fresh water is coming down the river to add to the tide. So at low water, it was back in the river with Stan and fisherman Jim Voisey. All the boats are all yes. on the mud. Time and tide wait for no man. We must have looked a very strange expedition as we headed straight into the river. Yeah. OK. Right, let's see how we go then. Any man where you can get it. Is it going to be deep? Yeah. No, shallow, that's not fair. You go right there. It's getting deeper. Yeah. Quite a pull on the tide there now, isn't it?
Keep to the right, OK? <laughs> <laughs> We were heading for the point between the two ferry slipways. We had to reach the exact spot that I'd measured earlier. Jim followed in the boat. Sitting about here. Is it about right? About here's done? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Let's see how, how it's doing. Yeah. Oh, you got the other end? What a difference there. That's less than half a meter. Big difference from before, wasn't it? Yeah. The high tide mark. Yeah. Okay, Jim. Yeah. See you after coming the boat. Too good for you, was it? <laughs> yeah. I haven't got the wind now, you say. You haven't got the wind? No, I can't get a wind now. How old are you now? Something's happened. Oh, well. Do you think this is the lowest it's going to get? Yeah, it won't get no lower because the rainwater's coming down, see? The rainwater. Yeah. The rainwater. Well, there's quite a big difference between that and the high tide mark. Yeah, Do you think we'll get flooding tomorrow? No, not if the wind is going northwest. No, if the wind is northwest. Northwest. Yeah. And what happens if it is? If it's in the south east, then we will shove it up at another couple of foot. So, well, uh, what do you think, Lindsay? Do you think well, we'll get a flood? We want to keep it this way. Nobody wants to get flooded. No. Jim got his wish. At 10 to 8 the next morning, there wasn't a breath of wind and it was eerily quiet. Well, Jim, how does it look? Well, there won't be no flooding this morning. No? No. Still, got... co still coming up? Yeah, still it? coming up a flood. We got about another... just over half an hour flood left, see? Yeah. But there's no wind at the moment? No wind at all, no. And how long do you think it'll be before we get to high tide? It'll be about another half an hour, I expect, just over. I reckon they flew up to that post over on the causeway. Yeah, there. is that usual to get up That's there? ordinary spring tide, that spring is. Spring tide. Yeah, if there's any interest to it. That boat over there, the yeah. wooden one. The wreck? Yeah, she was called the Topsum. That was the first one I went to see in. I was 13 year old. 13? What wages did you get for I being on that? A golden sovereign a month. <laughs> Heavens. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what a golden sovereign yeah, looks like. Well, A few minutes before high tide, Topsman's fire engine arrived on its rounds. Station officer Ron Ballamy looked relieved. His pumps wouldn't be needed. Well, are you coming down here to do a check on it? Yeah. 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 Is this the lowest point that the tide might yeah. flood first? Yeah. Can't see any problem until the day, can you? No, it won't no, be no not problem. The not, the day. not at all. Won't be nothing whatsoever. It looks pretty calm. There's no wind or anything. It's just like ordinary spring tide. Yeah. Well, Jim, what time is it now? It's 5.20 past 8. Uh, yeah. Is this the highest water. it's going to get? That size will get. It'll be about another six inches higher this evening. Yeah, but apart from that, we'll have no floods? No flood, no. It may come in the road tonight. The news at 10, this is Caroline Hall. Last night's high tides around Devon's coastal towns and villages have passed without any reports of serious flooding. Jim was right, and that night, just a few centimetres of water covered the road. Topsom had been very lucky.